Welcome to the Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013 R2 Sales Order Processing with Available to Promise Tour. This tour will show how to create a sales order and action a low inventory item with the Available to Promise feature of Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013. Three simple steps. Create a sales order. Action low stock status. Run the available to promise on the item. Click the play button to review the demo. Dynamics NAV 2013 R2 provides the ability during the sales order entry process to provide the customer an accurate delivery date based upon inventory levels and expected scheduled receipts. This is called order promising, which provides available to promise ATP and capable to promise CTP. ATP looks at all scheduled receipts from purchasing, manufacturing, or transfers. CTP uses MRP to determine the lead time to produce a scheduled receipt for manufacturing. Click on new sales order to begin. Here we see the sales order header and line screen. NAV provides the ability to have different order number series to identify different sources of orders if desired. The sales order number is assigned from the number series. The find as you type feature of Dynamics NAV is presented when the number 5 is entered showing all customer numbers beginning with 5. Find as you type can be changed by the down arrow and then to the right arrow selecting another field such as name, city, zip code to filter on during the data entry screen. Customer credit limit check is performed and notification pops up that the customer has an overdue balance. How would you like to proceed? Customer information is populated in the sales order header, fast tabs, general invoicing and shipping from the customer card. Controlling where the cursor jumps, which speeds data entry, is a personalization that end users can control by designating a quick entry field on the customizing fast tabs. Even though several data entry fields were skipped with quick entry on the general fast tab, if the user needs to change the skip field, they simply click on it. The customer provides their desired requested delivery date. Dynamics NAV is going to check using order promising once the item is entered to verify this requester delivery date can be met. The customer provides the PO number to be entered on the sales order header. We enter I for item type field on this line. We enter item number 2000-S. Enter 3 for quantity. Order entry prompts with check availability. Inventory is not sufficient to meet the demand. We enter yes. Go to the Lines drop-down on the Fast tab. Order Promising. Dynamics NAV will check for availability within the customer's requested delivery date. Here we see the Order Promising window. Since Item 2000S is a purchased item, ATP is selected to look for scheduled receipts to see if the customer required delivery date can be met. Capable to promise is used for manufactured items if no scheduled receipts are planned.
The earliest shipment date for this line is suggested as 2-1-2015 versus the customer requested delivery date of 1-30-2015 based on incoming purchase receipts. Press accept from the ribbon. Returning back to the sales order from the order promising window, we will scroll to the right to see the updated plan delivery date. Scroll to the right to see the updated plan delivery date. The plan delivery date on the sales order line has been updated to reflect the shipment date of 2-1 2015 from ATP. Select OK to close the sales order. Order processing in ATP in Dynamics NAV 2013 allows your order processing people to give customers an accurate delivery date for products requested at the time the order is placed. Order processing eliminated the need to call back to the customer with a new date when the requested delivery date could not be met, providing a higher level of customer service while placing the order. Thank you for watching our quick tour of sales order processing with Available to Promise with our Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013 R2 solution.